What's up everybody, it's Grim, your YouTube wrestling figures heavyweight champion standing out here in this little mini blizzard. It is cold as Stephanie McMahon's heart out here, and this is my Raw reaction for last night's Monday Night Raw. I cannot fucking believe that the fucks of the authority have fired Dolph Ziggler, Ryback, and Eric Rowan. Fuck you, authority! What kind of bullshit is this? It's like Survivor Series never happened! This is the dumbest fucking thing. I, I, how can you fire three of your top fucking players? And what's going to happen next week? Oh, they're all going to have front row seats magically sitting in the front row. Of it. <laughs> I'm Dolph Ziggler. I got myself a sign. Fuck you, authority. I mean, how funny would that be if he could actually bring a fuck you, authority sign? But I don't understand what the hell they're doing here. You know, people were pissed. People are pissed. You can't be doing this kind of shit on Monday Night Raw. Everybody hated last night's episode. They not only hated it storyline-wise, but they hated it because the show, rest of the show was lackluster, too. I mean, the main event match was Big E versus Adam Rose? Two fucking characters that nobody gives a shit about? I mean, I feel bad for them. They're really talented guys, but the gimmicks they got just gotta go. Oh my God. I'm out of breath. Oh, and you know what else? People were pissed. People were so mad at the Ascension. The guy comes out and he's, they're trashing on the demolition and they're trashing on the Legion of Doom. And he says, what a rush. What a joke. Totally tearing down Hawk of the Legion of Doom who died. Now, I can understand that's fucking tasteless. And, and seriously, it, it's, it's out of line. But, you know, don't get too butthurt about it. I mean, he's a bad guy and he's trying to get you to hate him. And, and we hate him. And now we're talking about them, too. And that's kind of the point. That's what these guys got to do as wrestlers to fucking get noticed. And I'm sure someone scripted that line for them. You know, it's kind of like when CM Punk was talking about Paul Bearer after he passed away. You know, you can't get too butthurt about that. I mean, seriously, if that's the kind of shit that's going to offend you as you go through the day, you're going to have a rough life. I feel bad for you. But, yeah, it was in bad taste. I'll say it was in bad taste. You know, but... It is what it is. Uh, one of the highlights of the show was Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt's ambulance match. That match was fucking good, but it was dumb to have Bray Wyatt win again. At that point, you can have Dean Ambrose get the win. Dean Ambrose needs to win. What are they doing with them? I don't understand this shit. I mean, Bray Wyatt, yeah, I get it. They're building him up. But what the fuck? You know, you got to lose once in a while. You can't just dominate the feud with Dean Ambrose. You know, kind of win a match, lose a match, win a match, lose a match. That's what they're doing, feuds, dum-dums. And speaking of losing matches... How fucking dumb is it to have Ryback lose a match to Seth Rollins and Kane? I'm, okay, Seth Rollins and Kane, you know, you gotta make them look strong. But you put Ryback in a loss when they're trying to build him up to be the guy to beat Rusev. Dumb! Do stupid! Why are you so stupid? Why would you do that? And it's like, well, why even book the match in the first place? Okay, because you gotta have Rollins look strong because they just added him to the triple threat match at the Royal Rumble which I'm going to, and my tickets are supposed to be coming in the mail today. I can't wait to fucking get home and get my tickets today. Uh, all right, so Seth Rollins is added to the Brock Lesnar and John Cena match at the Royal Rumble. It's going to be a triple threat. So we got to make Rollins look strong like he can take the championship match. So we're going to give him Kane so he can beat Ryback because he couldn't have beat Ryback on his own. And then Ryback loses to two guys, you know. Oh, we made Ryback look strong even though he lost. It took two guys to beat him. It makes no sense because now Ryback has to go and take on Rusev after a loss! Too stupid! I'm so out of breath because they're so stupid! But okay, I get why they did it. All three guys that wound up getting fired, Eric Rowan, Dolph Ziggler, and Ryback, they are all in matches and they all lost that night. And, and it had to all be screw jobs by the authority. Like Dolph Ziggler loses the Intercontinental Championship. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, Dolph. You're going to lose the Intercontinental title to Bad News Barrett. They put Bad News Barrett out there with Dolph Ziggler in an Intercontinental Championship match, and I was like, what is this shit? Bad News Barrett loses in like two minutes? And then King comes out and like, oh, I'm going to make this a two rounds of three falls match. You can't just fucking change the match after the fucking match is over. You want to make a two out of three falls match, then that match will start now, and then we got two more falls. It's bullshit. It was the dumbest fucking thing. It was just basically a screw job. Like, how can we screw Dolph and make everybody mad? And that's what they did. I mean, it was cool to see Bad News Barrett get his Intercontinental title back because he never lost it in the first place. That was kind of nice of them to do, and I like Bad News Barrett. So I'm not mad about that. But how fucking dumb. I mean, come on. 
You could have thought of a better way to screw over Dolph Ziggler. What else happened on Raw? Oh yeah, way to make Roman Reigns look strong, beating the big show by DQ. Nobody fucking cares. And Roman Reigns, I mean, you want to put a fucking match at the end of the show, you should have put Roman Reigns a big show at the end of the show. And not Big E and Adam Rose. You totally killed the momentum going into that last segment that everybody fucking hated. Why would you do that? Big Nose Beak Triple H comes out and fucking Stephanie McMahon cunt face fire everybody. <sighs> John Cena Appreciation Night. And then they have the fucking president music. Go fuck yourself. Why the fuck were they playing president theme music for John Cena? Dropping balloons and confetti on his ass. What the fuck? Everybody's mad at Cena now. He didn't turn heel. They're like, oh, we don't want to turn him heel, but we want him to bring back the authority. But now everybody's pissed off at him. Didn't they realize that this was going to backfire on him? Because, you know, people don't realize this is a storyline and it's a show. Psst. Dolph Ziggler, Ryback, and Rowan are not really fired. Oh, but Grim, they're added to the alumni section on WWE.com. Yeah, they're working the work. How cool would it be if they'd actually, like, you know, showed up on some other promotions TV show or something. You really want to work a work, that's how you work a work. But they're not really fired, I promise you. Work the work. You know, make people believe they're fired. But the thing is, they're going to be back. They might not be back for a week or two. They're going to show up at ringside or something. Or they're going to show up at the Royal Rumble. They're going to do something with that. And you know Sting is going to do something to fuck up Triple H. Like I said last week. They're building up Sting and Triple H. And he called him, what, a, a clown-faced goon or something? <laughs> Look at yourself, you fucking big, big bitch. Raw was... It, it wasn't great. I, I'm not going to stand here and tell you it was great, you know? And, and people are all offended at the whole Hawk thing. I mean, seriously, if you're going to get offended over what happens on wrestling, go watch the Disney Channel. I don't know what to tell you. You know, the guy's trying to get heat. But Raw was dumb. The whole storyline was dumb. The fucking ticker tape balloons bullshit was dumb. I don't know where they're going with this, but they inadvertently turned Cena heel without even turning him heel. What do I think about the guys being fired? I think it's a storyline and they'll be back. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I thank you guys for watching. And please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. I'm going home to get my Royal Rumble tickets. Nailed it! Oh, God, it was so cold. Oh, God, it was so cold. Oh, my God, look at this idiot's license plate. Why would you get that license plate? Too stupid! Why are you so stupid? The only thing about that license plate that makes me LOL is how stupid you are!